This is Cindy G with My Scrap Chick, and in this video we are assembling the bus, um, school bus box. So I have my pieces laid out. I've already glued them down on this side since there are lots of pieces to glue down. I'm, I'm going to start here with my stop sign. It's these three pieces. And you just layer these one on top of the other. This is what gives you the white border around the stop sign. With this, I'm going to make sure I've got my two pieces lined up. And then I'm going to put my stripes on. And hopefully, they will come out even. <clears throat> So I know you didn't see this part, but the way that I determined the width between my stripes are by the headlights here on the front because that is the biggest circle. And so I put my headlights on first and then I put the top and bottom stripe on. And again, that is how I determined the width. I'm going to put my three windows on. I haven't pushed down that center one because I want to make sure I like its placement after I get this one on, and I do. Only the two side pieces that don't have the sides that fold in have stripes. So this goes together pretty quickly. It's not too difficult. I want to ink around this door here a little bit so that it stands out. This window is a little bit bigger than these other windows, so you'll know which one goes on this back door. I move this to the other side just so I can make sure that my stripes are lining up relatively close to where they're supposed to be. For the back panel, I am going to put my door on first and then position my windows on the side.
brake lights here are wandering. Have to find the other one. And then on the side opposite the side with the door is where you put your stop sign. So very quick and simple. Now we're just going to put our box together. Just a smidgen too short here. Let's see. Get these over. I want to make sure that I've got this lined up good. Top to bottom here. Make sure it's straight. Hold this a few seconds and make sure it's stuck well. Now. Okay. Then you bring the top together and we're going to glue this. So this actually slides over the bottom here that we're going to put together. So this milk carton does not open from the top. And you've got a little bit of bulk here, so you want to hold this a few seconds. Make sure your glue is catching. And there's the front and the sides, your back, your other side. Now, I left the bottom of this separate so that you could increase the size of this box easily if you wanted. Just have to put the bottom on this one. Just use something to make sure your tabs are down good. And then, let's see. Tore my paper just a little when I did that. And this fits right in. Now you've got not quite an inch space here that's meant to be that way. That's like the base of your 